My name is Daniel Stange and I'm the uh, manager of Northern Illinois University's observatory. I staff the observatory uh, twice a week and have it open to the public for any, uh, anyone interested in coming and viewing our uh, celestial neighbors and any other objects we have available. So uh, Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, uh, Earth being the third. Uh, it is one of our, uh, our neighbors, uh, Venus being our other neighbor, so the book could uh, have very possibly have had invaders from Venus as well as Mars. What we know about Mars currently is substantially more than what we used to know uh, at the publication of the book. Back then, all we could understand and learn was what we could see through uh, telescopes. And at the late 1800s, the largest telescope was a 72-inch reflecting telescope that resided in Ireland. What we would see, even out of that large of a telescope, would still show Mars as pretty much a, a faint dot. And so the information we could get would all be spectroscopic analysis, where we would uh, analyze the actual wavelengths of light that would come off of the reflected light from Mars's atmosphere. The idea of what the surface of Mars was, what it was like, if there was any life, was solely based on the imagination of the authors who, who wrote books about outer space and other planets. The idea of, of canals in these river basins that showed up on Mars is from a lot of our uh, initial passing by satellites that would just image the surface. And so there have been multiple images of geographical structures that appear to look like dried up river basins, that we have comparisons that we've made between Mars and Earth, and just the similarities between the geological structures infers to us that there had to been at one time vivid amounts of water, liquid water, that was on the surface of Mars. We've recently discovered that there is still a vast amount of ice um, underneath the main surface of Mars. We do know that the ice that is found is water ice and not uh, some other type of frozen ammonia or frozen carbon dioxide. Um, and we know this because of the Mars rovers that we've placed there uh, about 10 years ago. One of the greatest pictures I've seen from the Opportunity rover was uh, a scooping of the surface and inches below the surface you can you visibly see uh, water to ice crystals right on the surface. So we do have this idea that uh, we could quote terraform Mars and terraform means we could change its environment to be more suitable for our form of living. Uh, the idea of the rover's missions was to essentially find out is there small microbial life on Mars, how much water is there, if any, besides what's in the polar ice caps, and the amount of water we find is that capable of sustaining manned missions to Mars. My idea is we will be getting to Mars within the next 50 to 100 years. We will establish a base on Mars and make use of all this frozen water that we find roughly right underneath the surface. So the most exciting thing about uh, explorations to Mars is really the uh, private sector and how much we have uh, the personal interest of very rich individuals who are just as interested to support life on another planet. Being at a different location that we could use Mars as a base and essentially send uh, astronauts off to farther out locations than just our lonely neighbor Mars. So in regards to the book, as the active observatory manager here, I would probably be just like the guy in the text. Be running towards the first crater, be one of the first guys there as soon as it fell, trying to take measurements, trying to determine how hot this thing is, why did it unscrew in the fashion that it did, what is the material that it's made out of, is it something we created that just fell back, is it something extraterrestrial? Um, and so more than likely, I probably would end up with the same fate as the character in the text. I would be burned by their fantastic heat ray. If you're interested in studying uh, space and science, um, I highly suggest getting into uh, the education of physics and astronomy. A lot of math-based, ba math backgrounds, and just uh, follow your interests from there. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to learn more about Mars or the NIU Observatory, check out the links below, and we'll see you in the future.